Hello, I'm Randy Brunette with Spatial Business Systems Incorporated, and today I'm presenting tools to automatically annotate wiring diagrams. We're going to start today with a wiring diagram drawing, drawing number 11 in my case, and we'll move to the new SDS Toolkit toolbar. You'll see the tabs across the top to the one specifically for panel and wiring diagrams. I'll grab my annotation tool and notice all the options we have specifically for substation design. You'll notice as we're annotating the tools we can change how that annotation format is going to come in. For example, here are parentheses to define the beginning and the end of the tag and pin numbers. We have a placeholder for the missing tag components if there happens to be one. We can add jumper prefixes when the wire jumps to the same component but a different terminal. We can also add installation location tags and define the delimiters between the components. Adding wire numbers or even down here this is one that will show up for sure and I'll show you some changes we can make to it. The start and end delimiters for the cables to the cores like the colors that would come in. In this case it's going to have a, ba a backslash, parenthesis, and then close with the second parenthesis, right? So the examples are given there for you. We also have options to honor the format override. So if you have a specific area in your drawing that you need to change the format for, or maybe just cables, you want something specific, you can put format overrides in and then this tool will not overwrite those. It'll maintain those throughout the process. And then we also have an option for freshening the wire connection table. When I select the options I want, I simply move to my drawing and select the entities that I want to work with. The SDS Toolkit will extract the wiring information from the schematics and update the panel wiring diagram. You can see here how the annotations are automatically being placed into the drawing. And you'll even notice here how I have the same component shown twice in this drawing. This is to show you that we can have the annotations either on the component, as you see with the lines going out to the annotations, or we can place the annotations on the drawing as a table entity. Now those two entities have exactly the same information done to them. And from here you can see we've completed the annotations. Let's zoom into this lower portion of the drawing and take a look at what has taken place here. We can see we have the wiring annotations coming in. Here's just to zoom over just a little bit more, we can see here's a cable that's showing you the cable number, the color of the cable, remember that backslash, parenthesis, backslash, and here's the terminal numbers or the component tag and the terminal number again with the parentheses. And you could see from that earlier option box how we can make the changes and define how we want that information to be placed. Now if we notice here there are some jumpers that are going and again the jumpers work between the same component. So for example this one's saying it's going to TB terminal 2 and here you can see one that's going back with this J piece going back to J1. We can use our jumper tool to automatically place jumper pieces into our drawings and you can see how the jumper is placed in, removing the annotation and putting a jumper piece in. And again, this is entirely optional. If you'd rather have the text to remain there instead of the J piece, you can do that as well. Let's also take a look at where this information is coming from and how it's being applied. So if we look here, we can see that TB1 terminal block TB1 is going to FB1. If we slide over to the right side of our drawing, we can see here's FB terminal number one, with a wire going back to TB1 and then there's a second wire here going to FA1. If we slide down here we can see FA1 going down to this terminal. Now, where is this information coming from and how do we change it? This is actually being all extracted from our schematic drawing and I'll zoom into here to show you where this wiring is, is as well. So if we take a look here in the drawing you can see here is TB1 with a wire going to TB2, that was the jumper wire we had. And then if we follow the other end of this wire around, we can see it's going to FA1. And then the wire also continues on over to FB1. Now you can see it also continues off into other areas, but we don't have that wiring completed in this 
in this drawing. So why is it going from one to the other? AutoCAD Electrical has some specific tools for how the wiring is going to jump and be run, but you can change that easily using tools like this SDS Wire Sequence tool. When I pick on the bar, it comes up and shows you the wiring, how it's starting from FA1 to FB1, then to TB1. Well, we want to change it so that we're not running that wire in between here. So I'll simply take TB1, run it to the top of the list, and now you can see it's creating that wire sequence just as it kind of is in the drawing, going from TB1 to FA1 to FB1. So I'll save that, move back to our drawing 11, and now I'll re-annotate the drawing to update that information. So I'll use all of the same options, select just those couple of components, those were the only places that I made any changes, and it will allow the SDS Toolkit to re-annotate our wiring diagram. Now that that's complete, let's again follow our wiring. So you can see now TB1 is going to FA1, and if we go over to FA1, you can see the wire coming from TB1, and then it's going from FB1 up to FA1 here. That's a perfect wiring piece. So that's how you can control all the wiring and have it take place automatically. Another tool that we have with this is the, our fan in, fan out tool. You can see we have a cable here in our drawing, it has three wires on it with the cable color pieces. So we can come up to our cable fan in tool. And again, we have a lot of different options for placing the fan ins. Now these are annotations, not quite the same as a cable uh, source destination that you might use or, or wire fan in from AutoCAD Electrical. Again, this is an enhanced tool to help us with the wiring diagrams available with the SDS toolkit. Okay, so now down here, I can also choose how I want the annotation to be changed. You'll notice that we have it set up in a cable like this. Well, if I fan this into a cable marker, I don't need to see this cable number three different times. So I'm going to display this only as location and device pin, and I'll also have it add in the non-blank cable wire color. Right, So I'm changing the annotation that the annotation tool put in by default. I'll mark my cable location and the final spot to the left and simply pick my three wires. Now notice how it's adding that in, it's taking off the color and then we added the color as the last piece here. So you can see how it was changing that annotation. Now I simply drag my tool out to where I want to place the location piece and you can see how we've placed in the cable marker we put in these fan in and out tools. You know, close this so we can see this a little better. We put in chamfers into the corners so we're able to change and modify that. Now let's say you don't want to see that annotation showing up that way. Maybe you want to have a different format. We also have an anno fan fix tool. So if we were coming back to re-annotate our drawing, the default information would come in. Now we get a choice of how we want to show that. Maybe I don't even want to see the colors, or maybe I don't need to see this terminal information and I want to see the color only. I can just choose these options. Again, pick the components that I want to work with, and you can see how the annotation is changed in the drawing without having to do any manual typing or editing. Now, this was an introduction to the capabilities of the Spatial Business Systems SDS PNC Toolkit to automatically annotate your wiring diagrams. If you have